we are here to take on Cauldron <sighs> Gemini tonight. Whatever. Baldy, pass me a sensu bean. What, do you think I'm just giving these away? Here is your jalapeno bean. And six for the host. <clears throat> so just to warn you, uh, I may have some unusual AFKs during this stream. Some of them might be on the longer side. Uh, we're having a bit... Uh, uh, some family troubles today that Nature we're kind of incident incidentally caught in the middle of. So that's why I had to readjust my stream in the first place. Nice. Now, I'm sure that this Gemini cauldron is quite long. <coughs> I'd like that. So I'm not going to beat around the bush and just hop right to it. <laughs> just in case I have to go short, I'd rather not stop the Gemini mission mid mid mission. The clip you posted. Of your front yard? Yeah, I saw that one. Looks like you guys had some nasty rain. Yeah. Welcome back. No damage to you or your mom's house, I, I hope? Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. Eavesdropper. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Let's do it. Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Nope. Right off to the cauldron. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's Demeter? Uh, I want to ask her about these things. I just don't know if I can afford the time. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. That was pretty. Oh, we don't have to make our way through the cauldron? All right, connections in place. Booting up. Hey, Gilly. Oh, boy. Have fun. Aloy, I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the cauldron network. Good to hear your voice. Aaron, everyone, fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my call. This thingy, it's blinking. <laughs> Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine is I love well. Alvin's okay. enthusiasm. Radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. She says to the wall. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega oh, Clearance. Oh, both cores at once. Right, 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 right. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. No, oh, no, you don't. Lock it 
down. Terminating external elections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. <laughs> That's the point. Wait, what's that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. <laughs> Oh, here we go. That means machines are on their way. Yep. Gathered that. Get ready. Here they come. For I'll stay here. Protect Beta. Where are they? Be careful. Okay. Come on, Behemoth, show me your side. All right, you want it, you got it. That, that'll work. Stay back. All right, we. I've got its weapon now. I just need it needed the Ravager to get away from it. Oh. Come on. Alright, that's useless. I better check on Beta involved. Crap, I need medicine. Let me check something. Okay, good. I want to make sure I didn't accidentally leave it on story. I was pretty sure I didn't, but still worth okay? making sure. Still breathing. Hey, Lloyd. Hephaestus can't escape, can't but it must started. have fled deeper into the facility. Yeah. I'll drive it back here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Hephaestus. You'll be happy. It's your home. Don't you want to go back to your home? Four berries per. Boy, they really want you to have a ton of healing on this one. Chase after Hephaestus. Force it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Come on. Okay, I'm not capped on the volatile sludge right now. Oh, come on. You don't have Festus. Uh, how? That that looks like straight up death down there. I don't think I I'm going to try and glide for it. That didn't look like a jump I could make. You should know there's a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of production chamber. What is this? This is up to something, all right? What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding, too. Yeah, but it's the how to get it to it that's the problem. Can I climb anything over there? Or just straight up follow them on the ground? Follow them on the ground. We've got climbing platforms over here. Looks like there are a couple of ways I could go. There we go. Well, that doesn't sound good. What did he say? Whatever she just reacted to, I didn't hear it or read it. I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without oh. a way to fabricate another, th 
There's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor? Connect it to the power node. I think that could work. Aloy, I'm on one right now. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to get on it that way. I feel like I've bypassed some of this. No, I did it on purpose. I used the uh, the vault jump from the uh, from the uh, the grapple point to get up there. think so. Yeah, I just, I used the vault up from the grapple point to get up there. It felt wrong, but it worked, so I did it. Like this. Thank you. Is there another leap lasher around here? Hear you. Nope, it's long legs. Explode, please. So glad I spent a bunch of time not hitting its weak spot. All right, let's do it. Wait, what is this? Oh, the what wing burner? I got plenty of those. I see ya. Oh, great. The machine's on the way. Theta! Fences have locked me out of the nose. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. And bam! Come on. That's what I was looking for, right there. Oh hi! that let me shoot it through the node. Stop friggin' twitching around and just let me shoot you and die. I'll put you out of your misery. Okay, okay, okay. This is how you want to play it? How'd that work out for you? Stop fidgeting around. Let's see. Nice. Thanks. Sounds like it fled to another chamber. Yep, gathered that. Well, you better not get comfortable. Energy containment. Uh, 
stepping in that feels like death. Great. I first cover the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy, more machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. Maybe. I'm working on it. Uh oh. She threw a lot of machines on my side too. I guess oh. Aaron's missing out. Aloy. I was an instant on the bypass, death. but I, I need something to hold the I could have just together. walked over that. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. You could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity. I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. Okay, let's do it. Give me the medicine. Uh, up, 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 frick! Dang it! I had that one moment of doubt, and it just screwed me. Charge up on this. Nope. Really? Yeah, I know he did. did pretty well towards the end, although I didn't watch his last two streams because he was doing this and then ending the game. Where does this go? Well, that was a fun little loop. Having yourselves a little adventure. Giga? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think Tunic is a soul sword game. Where's that watcher? I know he's around here. If it is, I didn't know it was that kind of game. Well, Dutson was playing Salt and Sacrifice. That's definitely... That's definitely a Souls game type of format, just in a 2D format. If Tunic is, I didn't know that. Oh, there you are. You're not... So nice when I do a shot, hit armor, and get one damage. All right, you're annoying me. Okay, and uh oh, no. Don't flashy thing me. I ain't playing with you, Kay. Did you ever flashy thing me?
Oh, I don't like the sound of that. This is running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy? There's a slaughter spine in here. I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something I know that happening. music. There's a slaughter spine in here. Everything's glowing. It must have finished it. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Hey, Gilly! Have fun! Yeah. Come on. Charge faster, dang it. And it doesn't have its weapons, so I can't shoot them off. Need him. They need some I swear, man, as soon as I aim at that tail, he moves it. Fine. Uh oh. Dodge too early. Stay still. Uh oh. I'm kind of surprised that worked. Okay, Festus back to you. Not having the weapons was really surprised, made it really surprising how difficult that fight was. Perm legit sure took on safe. a slaughter spine. I'm Good for back. him. Uh, da, da, da. Can I go up this much. way? Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Laurel. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Oh, right yeah. Back at you, Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, admittedly, a lot of it was just me upgrading my weapons to kind of, like, take the edge off the Aloy nerfing. It helps a ton. Uh... Oh, I 
just... Oh, I go back to them. Right, 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 right. I thought I had to do something back at the Hephaestus Corps. Hey, Lloyd. The, the bypass is done. Congratulations. The core is stable. Hephaestus is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. No, you don't. Oh, I thought he was trying to block it. Okay. To complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Let us work on our Tai Chi together. Aloy just looks confused. Yeah, she is. It's a Sunwing. It's an override? Oh, here come the Zeniths. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Ow! Squash that bug while you're at it. Ooh. <laughs> Get behind me. Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! No. I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! I can't even see her! Uh, what? Okay. Beta. Farrell. <laughs> Who brought us back here? Is this the base? Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. 
I wasn't sure if Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. Why when would you help me? Down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you might as well just play along. Tilda's mansion, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. And there's nothing to scan here. Was this Tilda's actual house? What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look, if you like. I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. Okay. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. Yeah, I don't buy it either. And on the right is a forgery. Woman. I mean, he's probably dead, but I still don't buy it. Reading music, which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless But that's probably original. just denial talking. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. Okay. Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon, whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. So she's sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. The torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. Was I right? No, don't answer that. I had a theory a while back that Tilda caught the feels for Sobek. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. Yeah. So instead, he yeah. saved its treasures from That's destruction. That's exactly what it is. Just as I saved these She works. caught the feels for Sobek. You could say we're kindred spirits. These pieces of art are Tilda's story. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. So she's not happy in Zenith Land, is she? Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. 
It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. I love the detailing. Like you can see the 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 cracks in the painting and stuff. That looks really good. Terrific texturing work. In my day, but not as influential as you've been in this new world. The Gust by Willem van de Velde, the most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. She is familiar with all Indeed, of this, Aloy. Which is why I appreciate this, this is her story. In particular. The waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship. It perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. This. A lot of weight on his shoulders. What is that stomping around? Stunning, isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. I can't even tell what this that is. This is Avian and Ewer. Ah. Molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Uh -oh. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial? Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. She's pulling out her own hair. Out of... Madness out of grief? It's hard to watch her suffer. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. I thought I looked at everything. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. Oh, the Bella Not The least of which is in that vault. There's nothing wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment. Did I miss I'll one? I'll come upstairs and we'll get down to business. Your choice. Oh, I didn't look at these. No prompt. Okay, cool. Normally they're pretty good about acknowledging when you've done all the optimal stuff. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't notice that. So that was my bad then. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us? If only there was something on the screen! And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on... Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. So our decoy did nothing. They were tracking the goal. Your ruse didn't fool us. And as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit. It's a wonder she didn't clean up after this, this place. House. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. <laughs> yeah, I bet he was. Firm hates those long After NPC conversations. After people have done, you think I'm just going to sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You Girl, you need to get some sun. 
and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? They've been spying on Aloy's past experiences through the focus that she smashed. But that means you've seen incredible things. Yeah. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I have to, in order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood, with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Yep. How's it going, Arky? Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. I really love that shimmering prism look to their shields. It looks really cool. must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. Mm -hmm. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. Yeah, I thought it was an alpha build, With though. With that and Gaia. We could do Still, everything though, Elizabeth wanted. Something is better Heal than nothing. The biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I... Christopher w Walken, you mean? Not Walker? Have you seen the spice of Arrakis? I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee. I bet he has. Army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah. Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been... They even have the bites taken out of the apple. That's really nice. Been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. I have doubts. Silence has played see, me well, like a fiddle this whole time. Battering down Gerard's doors. You and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Oh, is this where the heavy side came in? <laughs> That's 
where he and I differ, man. I love good world building. I felt bad starting Cauldron Gemini without going through this conversation back at the base. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we, we smashed it right in front of them. Hades proving lab. Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape. Bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course nope. not. It was your It's action just for her. That inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I would The Earth would be doomed right now. Aldrin. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful. If you like. The addition of the harpsichord in the music is a nice touch. So I wonder if that means that Silence has been spying on Tilda. I mean, I would hope... I would hope that Tilda would be smart enough to find and remove anything like that in the focus. But the Silence spying on Aloy is why she smashed it in the first place. So you know all about me? What about you? What would you like to know? Okay, hang on. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the long AFK, everyone. I did warn you they might happen tonight. Let's continue this conversation, shall we? Oh. Start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances. This is taking too long! I'm gonna miss the farmer's market! So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You are See, I try to compliment him and he gets all upset about it. Blah, blah, blah. Things Fix says. How's it going, Fix? But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. I bet. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I'd was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. You're an information broker. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. Yeah, you're the shadow broker. But despite okay. that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. Um, you can go to, I'm sure you know this already, but you can go to the place where you got your glasses and they have a way of like, it, 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 from the picture I saw, it looks like a plastic frame. They can heat the plastic to kind of readjust for your ears so that they'll sit evenly. But yeah, it'll take a while to get used to. I I think I've been wearing glasses since like second grade. So it's far beyond second nature now. I think I it feels weird not having them on. And I think even if I got LASIK one day or something, I might just continue wearing glasses without lenses. Um Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. What happened when Farzinath approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. Yeah, we saw their pitch. One where we need not fear illness or death. Where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. Yep. 
By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in. Faro's machines were devouring the earth. So I accepted Farzinit's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. Wow. So to, it would have been through looking at Aloy's old focus that she learned how Sobek died. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serve a forge, every really. need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying. Stultifying? Pampered dream state. Stultifying? I've never heard that word before. Hold on. Tending to stifle enthusiasm, initiative, or freedom of action. I've never heard that word. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more. Alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? To live life. Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. And what would your vision of humanity be? You said Beta is not in urgent danger. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? They Putting need her, her to, to control dot Gaia. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. What's up, M. Doom? How you harsh, doing? But you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. How is your affiliate celebration going, man? Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I it's built home. this house as a shelter. <sighs> to Whatever. Storm. Baldy, pass me a sensor bean. What, do you think I'm just giving these away? Because I'm not. I really hope it's Sriracha. Yes, Sriracha. Ha ha! A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Veda to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical. Art data does not induce data. life. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. 
Yeah, the only reason that I maintain two pairs of, of prescription glasses, one of them are sunglasses, is because progressive lenses don't work inside cars. Most, most windshields are UV treated, and it is the UV that triggers the progressive reaction in progressive lenses. So, yeah. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. Really? Did they change that? Because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with them. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth. The only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. Awesome. He believes it's better to wipe That's the good canvas to know. clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. For the four of you, the four of you are gonna are, are gonna share this planet alone. There, there's no progeny, there is no legacy, it's just the four of you on this massive planet. That's your plan? But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak That's fair. the base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Okay. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha Build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. Yeah, we've run the into them. Working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? Ingenuity? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. It's such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for yeah, her Yeah, she owes silence. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. 
Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. No worries, Arky. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? What are these banging noises? Are they intentional? This was everything she was. I see in you. And more. It's kind of distracting from the conversation. The conversation. Your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. She doesn't see the distinction. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. Yeah. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Focused? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning, a touchy subject in those days. Yeah, because, because AI had been outlawed. Because authorities were yeah. just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. Yeah, An AI-driven AI. system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. Oh, this is not just a casual acquaintance or a close colleague. She loves Sobek. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz. Her like you can detect the flirtatiousness from Tilda in her relaying of the story actually one step ahead i came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship she always seemed to know me far better than i knew her yeah right there i guess i know the feeling stop banging outside it's so distracting Man. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. Enchantment? We are in. Oh my gosh, I just peed a little. Enchantment! ...desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die. I am the smart. I am the smart. I am the smart. 
I this is taking right. too long. It's no, they very much do not help. Ellie, Gilly, you suck. We done. Well, to grow. It looks impossible. Look deeper. Wait. Keep Man, it simple, I just seem to be a few shunts short of a uh, thingamajigger here. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. Sorry, I want to see where this goes without interruption. Just like that? What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? Watching me. I, I, I can't hold it this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold it out a little while longer and work on the merch. Again, when it's time, can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. If you are double crossing me, I will shoot you over and over and over again. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Exactly. With Aragala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me sister sister huh will be silence only option for crashing that base i'll tell you the rest later but first there are a couple of things i have to do oh and what are those lay my friend to rest and then i'm going to use the override that beta gave me at gemini to put an end to recall's rebellion from the air wait Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. Yeah, I'll shut down all their machines. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. There you go, Aloy. This is not a partnership. Erend, are you there? 
Aloy. Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... Uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. Uh, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Yeah. I fast traveled here so many times to fight Tide Rippers. I had no idea this place was right behind me. Man, I don't want to go back to the base. Oh, there is? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sterling, uh, what? You seat? Uh, the application was Young Christ in the Temple. Oh, this was, this was about the, uh, Able to identify fakes. We're going to turn. Yep, this is her software. So she developed this software. People heard about it and then it vanished. Yeah. <laughs> With a car in the garage. Just to oh. let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Yeah, okay. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. There you go, Aloy. Use your arms. Tilda's house is freaking huge. Rotterdam 2033. Uh, party action Europe reverse key instructions. This city's new. Far right anti migrant group, party action Europe, reverse key instructions to the city's new storm surge barriers, rendering them fully open during a massive extra top tropical cyclone. Jeez. There's something in there, wasn't there? Oh. Okay. There's so much here. Little home theater. All right. Yeah, that's what Tilda survived. That is the problem with the Internet of Things. Didn't she say she was 10? Okay. Kind of young for that kind of activity. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and that can unfortunately now include cars these days. There are a number of cars that are internet connected, and if you know what you're doing, you can issue people's cars certain commands because they're not protected. There are the Bellabacks. 
I'm not finding the fire gleam here. No, no. Oops. No, 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 no. It's on the stairwell. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, I know, but... Firm, thank you for the host. You showed up at a good time. We have just finished our very long conversation with Tilda. Upstairs in the stairwell. Okay. The offer of hence is fine. That that to me is the middle ground that I found. Like, I don't want to backseat Perm, but if I can help him, and I'll, I'll tell him I can help him if, if necessary. In the stairwell. The stairwell seems fairly limited there, and I didn't see any fire gleam in it. Oh, really? I can't, I can't pull myself up on this thing that's only waist high. Still not seeing it. Hint, please. I mean, Fire Gleam's freaking huge. Gliding from outside. Okay. Thank you. Nope, that's not the way up. It would seem to me that the view of Tilda's house would actually kind of traumatize her. No, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, traumatize her a little bit. Like, it'd be like walking back into your house after a fire or tornado. Like, it's hints of what used to be there, but it's not what's there anymore. Thank you, person who DM'd me. From outside. I mean, there is an entrance. That's fair. I did. There's that. Okay, so if I passed right by it. I was gliding down. Yeah, shut up, Bellabax. Go away. You are. Ah. Uh, okay. 
No, that's stupid. Why did I do that? Oh. Is that room again? Oh, that is a particularly bright terminal. I don't know. I'm looking for the stupid fire gleam. I am too smart. I am too smart. I am too smart. I am too smart. Yeah, but I don't I mean, remember the way I glided down. No, stop it. I'm a... Hop over. Hop over. There you go. Okay. So this place is huge. Okay, this is the way I glided down. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. What? What am I missing? If only there was something on the screen. What? A climb hold from the roof. Okay. Get up on the roof! Oh my gosh. Stop getting stuck. I'm not seeing it! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't get up this way. There's the stupid bellow box again. Look, I know it's a flipping disaster. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What? Where am I? I'm. S Ooh. Neat. This was. This was really just a long con to get to uh, a place where I could find a trivial amount of metal shards. I'm working on it. It takes a while to get there, because the other route there is blocked. All right, ping when I'm up on the roof. You got it. Stop it. There we go. I'm pinging. Lots of pinging. Many much pinging going on. So here's the other stairwell. Is it this other stairwell I'm looking for? Where I jump to go down. Okay. But don't jump this time. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Handhold. Handhold. Okay. Drop to ledge. Drop. Ugh. I got this already. <laughs> it's right here. That's why I was so... It wasn't on the map. And you said fire gleam, so I'm, I'm specifically looking for red. Glowy red. 
Well, I mean, that's pretty glowy red, but... Look, man, I did this offline while I was, like, watching streams and stuff. Multitasking doesn't lead to memory. Oh, so I, I did Fire Gleam and a Metal Flower. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. I'm so glad that we just wasted, like, 20 minutes accomplishing nothing. Alright, back to the base where I guess we're going to bury Varl and deal with Zoe or something. This is true. This is true. You were trying to help? I appreciate it. When you're Tell wounded, like, you have to strike back. Draw blood. I'm so mad I could stab a table. Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. See you, Six. Thanks for hanging out. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... She doesn't know. Oh, no. The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. Okay, she does Beta know. Okay, good. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? Ali, thank We're you for the host. We're going to defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there i don't blame him i know go stand with akaro and keep an eye on the sky strike true as the ten the rest of you whatever preparations you need to make upgrades resupplies get on it it won't be long before we take the fight to the zenith we'll is that the point it and when you're ready Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Uh, you look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cult and Gemini. Varl, Beta, Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. What was Leviathan again? Oh, I still a need to do the Leviathan system quest. Back in the Great Delta. It was built by Eileen Sasaki, another of our ancestors. If we can acquire the data on it, we might be able to fix the system back home. 
then my sister, my parents, other families won't have to live in fear of their homes washing away when the long rains come. Right. And to find it, we need to head back to San Francisco. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Yeah. I don't know whether... I, I really don't trust Tilda. Because Tilda's the one who tried to steal Gaia, and Sobek stopped her. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we Not thought yet. journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed it for space travel. It was her and travel. Travis Tate. It's overwhelming to think about. Yeah, she was she was the one specifically who wanted to have Gaia stolen. She had negotiated Apollo. Like, Apollo was a given. Sobek was going to give her an alpha copy of Apollo. No problem. She tried to have Gaia herself stolen. Um, Travis Tate caught her. And that's when, yeah. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most- Oh, and Sobek was pissed. We got to listen in on a, a conversation between her and Tilda- about Tilda trying to have Gaia stolen. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht, an entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted, not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And I wouldn't deadly. disagree with that. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Arend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Sometimes there's no choice but to move on. Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. Um... So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. And she looked happier because of it. So dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask so to teach you sometime about Utaru music. Maybe. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Catalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. Yep. If my plan works. We're going to drop an EMP on the party! Anything new around here? Katalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. The Inners can own. keep their magic jello. Replacing body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. Exactly. 
I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. <laughs> but you probably will. And I haven't forgotten about the data on Leviathan. I I'll really need to do I that. Back to landfall. Thank you, Aloy. So the conversation with Alva definitely reminds me that we're going to have we're going to have at least one more stream of side stuff before we end the game. I thought you were going to go fight some Tanakh. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just you know, maybe up even pieces too. like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh. Good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. Let's never play strike. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. I thought it was really sweet that Aloy called her her sister. You think Zoe will be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zoe can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. <laughs> ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat. I think. I think. I love that. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see. With his new robotic arm? Are you crazy? See if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. Wait, I just talked to you. What more do you have to say? Oh, back. Tilda's the one who rescued me. Same one that spoke to Beta when none of the others would. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some I way. I see Aloy she hasn't put it together to yet. information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the I'd be. Yeah, that's the same thing. Okay. I have to. Maybe answer. Yeah, so Catalo's not there anymore. Yeah. All things being like, I know this game probably could have used several months more of polish than it got in regards to just minor quality of life stuff and little broken quests and things like there are some things that in a game of this complexity, you're never going to catch until it goes live. People will break things in a way that you never expected. But in an open world game of this nature, it honestly really doesn't surprise me. Over here, Aloy. Yeah, I see you. You're right in front of me. We would come out here to tend to the garden.
Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song. Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used... It sounds like she tried to do a thing that let him do both. Like, the, the whole thing of, like, he's looking upon the plain song and the Nora sounds like her trying to kind of, like, meet in the middle somewhere. Um, I don't like how she spoke of plain song first. She doesn't know anything of Nora burial customs. It, it, it sounds like a you did your best kind of thing. ...to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. Yeah, but she did all this before Aloy even got back. As verdant blooms wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And that's the Utaro burial custom. So that best. bothers me. I'm with child, if I... Whoa, what? I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. to look after them. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that, actually. Um, like I said, it sounds like she gave it a good old college try, which to me is not good enough. Um, the Osram know the Nora, uh, the, um, let's see, it's not the new tar wouldn't really, Aaron at the very least should have been able to offer advice in terms of what the Nora do in terms of custom, custom burial traditions. Yeah. The focus should have too, but instead Zoe took Varl's body and did her own thing with it, which does not pay respect to the dead. It usurps their burial. I'll try to visit again. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm actually with you on that, Vix. No, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override. Like, yeah, I know you died and this is about you and all that stuff, but this is really about me. 
So uh, here's plain song, and, and no, no. Well, no, I'll use it on the Sunwing, and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Yep, but we will do that another stream. Oh.